Rude. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. <laughs> John is our uh, chairman of our building committee, and he's the one that's uh, responsible for putting this uh, new house together. It's been a fun project. Uh, we started broke ground in October the 1st. And with volunteers came in, staked out the house, dug the footers. Uh, one church group actually was here to, to help dig the footers and set the forms. And from there we've just kept coming up, a board at a time, a nail at a time. Yeah. Fun project, we enjoy it. Yeah, it means a lot to the community and the people that are going to have this home. It's, it's going to help them for generations to come. We hope so, certainly. certainly. Yeah. Well, we were just fixing to go take a walk through side. You want to come with? I'll be glad to. Yeah. All right. This open? No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 Safety first. Tour, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. Always keep your doors and windows locked. <laughs> be our guest. All right. Thank you. Habitat is, uh, is exempt in the state of Florida from contractor requirements. Okay. Now, let me hasten to say that if we hire someone to do a trade, electric, air, air conditioning, plumbing, mm -hmm. then they must be licensed. But Habitat volunteers do not have to be licensed to perform the work. However, all work must be done to code. Right. So the house comes up, it's designed by a professional architect, mm -hmm. uh, and he, he made a significant contribution to us. Mm -hmm. And then we get the plans, we submit the plans along with the permits for a regular permitting process. They're approved, modified, whatever has to be done. Mm -hmm. Once we get them back, then we can start actually digging the footers, as I was saying outside. Here we have, you know, a three bedroom, two bathroom house, 1170 square feet, uh, ground up construction, and it's all stick construction. Okay. Regular half inch wall board, two to four framing, mm -hmm. uh, R13 in the side walls, R30 in the attic. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a nice tight house, double inside of the windows, the whole works. Very good. Yeah, so super little house for, you know, a starter home, I'd love to have it. I know, this is beautiful. This is excellent. It takes that three helps. things to be successful, for Habitat to be successful. Mm -hmm. Carl told you about what it takes to become an applicant for the house, mm -hmm. uh, but it takes three things for the whole organization to be successful. It takes applicants for the house, mm -hmm. it takes volunteers to build the house, and it takes money. <laughs> money comes from three sources, okay. donations, mm -hmm. donations, and donations. donations. So that's it. I gotcha. <laughs> that is the only place. Uh, we have no federal state funding, no international funding. Okay. Uh, one of our most successful fundraising efforts is through the state program called the Community Contribution Tax Credit Program. Oh, okay. We call it CCTCP for short. <laughs> we'll roll that across the screen. You know I can't say it. <laughs> CCTCP. We've been practicing quite a while. But it's a great state program. The state of Florida encourages local businesses to get involved in eliminating substandard housing within their own community. Yeah. As a, a means of driving that initiative, they give a 50% credit back on or tax refund to the companies that donate. The tax credit program, if, if a company were to contribute $5,000, now that sounds like a chunk, and it is. Mm -hmm. uh, the beauty is though, that $5,000 to Habitat really does a lot. It'll put on the roof mm -hmm. and the flooring. It'll right. put on the siding and the countertops. It'll buy the cabinets and the little plumbing fixtures. So, mm -hmm. you know, $5,000 on a house goes a long way. For the company, we submit the paperwork for them, Carl does. And along about October, they will actually get a $2,500 check back from the state, oh. from the sales tax that they have paid into the state. Mm -hmm. Plus then at the end of the year when they start uh, their taxes, they get other deductions for the deductibility of all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Net bottom line to the contributor is about $1,400 out of pocket wow. for a $5,000 donation to us. Yeah. So that really is our, our primary means of funding for the homes. Yeah. Yeah. So businesses out there, we ask that you would get involved, get involved with the local community so that we can make a difference and start building up our local communities and make a difference in those lives The people that live there isn't just going to be in that one person's life or that one family. It's going to be in their children, in their grandchildren, in their friends even because they're going to want to turn around, get involved, and start helping also. So let's take a look at the bedrooms. Sure. This is almost as big as my bedroom now. <laughs> uh, 
awesome. And look at these windows. These windows are so nice. Like he said, they're double pane. And they have the cute little lines in them that I just love. <laughs> I'm sure they have a real name, but... I Colonials. Plug in? <laughs> Colonials. Colonials. Yeah, Colonial windows. Or something like that. Yeah. Yes. Second entrance to furnace, washer dryer. It has a laundry room, y'all. <laughs> I want to have a laundry room when I grow up and get to be a big girl. <laughs> it's a little dark. I don't know if you can see in here, but it's beautiful. It has a really nice tub surround. And it's so spacious. It's, they're not stamping at all. This is a master bedroom here. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then another, this is the master bedroom, yes. and it has a nice bathroom in here as well. And it's, here's the kitchen. I'm not usually allowed in this area, but just for fun, I'm going to show you around in here. This is wonderful, and a window over the sink, which is my favorite. And is that a pantry? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's invaluable right there, to have a pantry. And then, of course, what we'll do is to furnish this house with the basic appliances. Mm -hmm. uh, be a washer, dryer, range. Uh, refrigerator, uh, hood. Mm -hmm. and the range so the houses are pretty much ready to move in when the mm -hmm. completed. Family Resort, where the fishing is always great. Located on the Rainbow and Withlacoochee Rivers, we offer rooms with kitchenettes and boat rentals on site. For family fun or a weekend getaway, stop by for all your fishing supplies. That's Angler's Family Resort. For more information or reservations, call 352-489-2397. April the 18th. Tell us about that, John. Starting at 9 o'clock in the morning, we're going to kick off with a welcoming ceremony, mm -hmm. um, honoring the volunteers and the businesses that have contributed to this house. Carl's going to kick that off. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, after that's done, the house will be opened up for an open house. It'll be completely finished, carpeting, flooring, painted, the whole works, so people can see the house that we're talking about. And then all this time also will be a, a yard sale. Oh, okay. Several people in the community have donated very valuable items, a brand new stove, a brand new uh, dishwasher, mm -hmm. brand new carpeting. Proceeds will go to Habitat to, to start the fourth house. Okay. All this time, free hot dogs. Oh. It's Hammers and Hot Dogs Day. That's my So it'll be hot dogs and drinks. Uh, come on out and join us. It's going to be a fun time. All right. And yeah. it's April the 18th, and that's right after tax season, so y'all bring your your tax refund checks and help out a good cause. And you know what else I want to say to the teens and young people that are watching? Habitat for Humanity is a great way to get involved with the community as well. You know, it's you get to have great mentors, you learn job skills. So please, don't think that there's an age limit. You're never too young or too old to get involved. There's something you can do, and these fine gentlemen will help you. So uh, look at the website that's on the screen and the number to get involved. Also, don't forget to go to teen teen.tv. You can find out more information there and come be our friend on MySpace, myspace.com slash teen to teen TV. Make it's sure. all about making a difference and yep. it doesn't yep. take a whole lot, just just a little bit. If we all just pitch in, what a difference we can all make. Well, John, thank you. Thank you. So thank much. you. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you. Good. Let me let me see yeah. what I can do to get dirty. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Go down here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was always a last kid picked on the oh, playground. Okay, okay, let's see if I can do it. I'll get out of the way. I'm not going to stop somebody from working. <laughs>
Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a guy I work with in the police. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> no, no time to talk. He's got to shovel. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't let me handle any of the power tools, right? <laughs>